Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Recently, we've had the chance to test drive the Hyundai Tucson Hybrid. And so it's in the garage. We're going to have a complete underhood tour outlining all of the major technical features as well as the maintenance service points. The 2022 to 2025 Hyundai Tucson Hybrid features a now well-proven 1.6 liter direct injected turbocharged four-cylinder engine. The gasoline engine itself has 180 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. Sandwiched between the engine and its conventional six-speed automatic transmission is a pancake-shaped electric motor assembly with 59 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. The two of these together can produce a combined 226 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. It comes standard with all-wheel drive and has an EPA rating of 37 miles per gallon city, 36 miles per gallon highway, and 37 miles per gallon combined. Also under the hood is a belt-driven starter motor generator, which starts the engine and can generate power for the battery system. The Hyundai Tucson Hybrid features a 1.49 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack located under the second row seats, which also combines the functionality of a conventional 12 volt battery within its assembly. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the top rear of the radiator and flows through a snorkel into a conventional air filter box. From there, it travels back into the rear of the engine through a tube to the throttle body mounted directly adjacent to its water-cooled turbocharger. Once through the turbocharger, the air then travels up to the front of the engine bay to an air-to-air -air intercooler, which sits vertically beside the radiator, then back up to a composite plastic intake manifold at the front of the engine. From there, it goes directly into the combustion chambers, which features four valves per cylinder and variable valve timing. You can see the four spark plug coil packs atop the engine. They're easily accessible. Because this has direct fuel injection, most of the fuel hardware is hidden below the plastic valve cover assembly. Routine maintenance on the Hyundai Tucson Hybrid is relatively identical to that of any normal gasoline-powered vehicle. Caution is to be taken with all of the orange wiring harnesses and their connections as they are high voltage, not really user serviceable anyway. Accessing the air filter is easy. Simply pop a few clips at the top of the air box at the passenger side of the engine compartment to get in and replace it. Windshield washer fluid is found at the front of the engine bay with a bright blue cap. Checking the oil can be done directly at the top of the engine with or without the sound cover pulled off. Notable by the bright orange dipstick at the front and center. To fill the oil, you do have to remove the sound cover to access the cap. There are two coolant reservoirs. One is for the hybrid power system, which can be found at the front of the engine compartment atop the transmission. The one located closer to the firewall is the main coolant reservoir for the engine. Both use the same fluid. Brake fluid can be checked at the firewall at its reservoir mounted atop the electronic brake control unit. Though it isn't user serviceable, the main engine computer, or ECU, can be found between the two coolant tanks. The main fuse box located at the right of it along with the jumping post. The fuse box is easily opened by popping a couple of clips and you'll find a fuse removal tool inside. Well there you go my friends, under the hood of the Hyundai Tucson Hybrid with an overview of technicals as well as a little bit of a pointer outer of where all the things are for do-it-yourself maintenance. Now if you'd like to see a test drive of this vehicle, we have that right there on our partner channel Test Driven TV. You can also subscribe to TDTV Garage if this is what you like. You can do that right there. Either way, stay tuned.